said steamed hams. That's what I call hamburgers. You call hamburgers steamed hams? Yes. It's a regional dialect. Uh, uh, what region? Uh... Oh! Friends and loved ones, marvelous hello! <laughs> I hope you're prepared for an unforgettable YouTube video. I love The Simpsons. Ever since I started watching it as a kid on K5 Hawaii News Now, I fell in love with the bright colors, humorous dialogue, and fantastic cast of characters. I quote the show daily, and honestly struggle to get through a single conversation without making a reference. I still watch the show frequently, and sometimes even pop in one of my DVDs to listen to the creator commentary. I really like The Simpsons. My favorite season is definitely season 8, as it gave us some of my all-time favorite episodes and stories. Hank Scorpio, Poochie, Guatemalan Insanity Peppers leading to a Space Coyote, The Springfield Files, Mr. Sparkle, Homer's Phobia, Frank Grimes, Sideshow Bob's Brother, Mountain of Madness, Mr. Burns' Son, Ned Flanders' Breakdown, the fantastic use of lighting during Homer's boxing career, Pretzel Wagon, Lisa Dating Nelson, Grade School Confidential, and one of the greatest and truest quotes in the history of the entire show. To alcohol, the cause of and solution to all of life's problems. Yeah, yeah it's a quality season. The showrunners for season 8, as well as season 7 and a handful of other episodes, were Bill Oakley and Josh Weinstein, and with how much I enjoyed the episodes they ran for The Simpsons, as well as their own show, Mission Hill, these two were actually a really big inspiration for me wanting to major in screenplay writing when I was in college. But I'm not here to talk about season 8, any more than I already have. I'm here to talk about Season 7, specifically one episode in Season 7. Even more specifically, a single segment from one episode in Season 7. And that's the infamous Steamed Hams bit from 22 short films about Springfield. This iconic episode first aired on April 14th, 1996, and was inspired by the short Ned Flanders segment at the end of the Season 4 episode, The Front. The episode focused on a variety of mini-stories and arcs involving different characters from the show. From Apu partying like it's on sale for 1999 to Dr. Nick's malpractice hearing, it was a fun and memorable episode, and one segment that's always stood out, even more so in recent years, is the Skinner and Chalmer segment at the start of Act 2, written by none other than the aforementioned Bill Oakley. The sketch only lasts 2 minutes and 48 seconds, and I guarantee you I could probably recite the entire thing verbatim. If you haven't seen it for yourself, you should probably fix that as soon as possible. But just to recap, Principal Skinner invites Superintendent Chalmers over for lunch, discovers he burnt the roast he was making, claims the smoke is from steamed clams, sneaks out the window to buy burgers from the Krusty Burger across the street, and claims the burgers are an old family recipe for steamed hams rather than clams before ending the lunch by claiming the fire in his kitchen is actually the Aurora Borealis. I have to take a moment to stress again that this is a really funny scene. Aurora Borealis, localized entirely within your kitchen. On the Season 7 DVD commentary, Bill Oakley talked about how up until this point in the show, the only real joke Skinner and Chalmers had was Skinner telling some sort of outrageous lie, and Chalmers sort of buying it, but not really. And this scene was just a slew of, like, 13 of those back-to-back. -back. I think it's also worth mentioning that Bill Oakley does have a love and passion for fast food, as he regularly does Instagram reviews for new items, and even hosts an annual food and drink award show called The Steamies. Back in 2018, Bill Oakley uploaded his original draft of the scene with the caption, Steamed Hams, but it's the original first draft. Soon afterwards, the scene became a lot more popular in online culture, with many folks doing their own unique takes on it. Some of my personal favorites are Steamed Hams Inc. by N.P. Carlson. You know, these hamburgers are quite similar to the ones they have at Krusty Burger. Yeah. Family recipe. Oh, 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 oh. For steamed hams. Yeah. Steamed hams. Yeah. Steamed you hams. call them steamed hams, despite the fact, despite the fact, they are obvious to grip. And Steamed Hams, but it's Ace Attorney by IQED.
Then, of course, there's the absolutely amazing Seymour Skinner's Bizarre Luncheon by Meriwether Comics. That's definitely worth a look through. The popularity of steamed hams in recent years has even circled back around to the main series, as in the season 32 episode, The Road to Cincinnati, a restaurant called Steamed Hams can be seen in the background while Skinner and Chalmers are on the road. Jury is still out on if steamed hams are an Albany expression, but apparently they do exist in Missouri. Needless to say, yeah, there have been some pretty fun interpretations of this scene, but few have jumped out at me more than Steamed Hams The Graphic Adventure. This is a game that was created by Neo Dement and released only a few weeks ago, and it's basically exactly what you think it is. She took the Steamed Ham sketch, but turned it into a classic point-and-click adventure game. The inspiration mainly seems to draw from LucasArts titles like Monkey Island or Maniac Mansion, which you can tell from the veritable variety of virtual verbs. The game opens up with a classic Simpsons font logo through the clouds, where it informs us... To start, press any key. Where's the any key? I see Esk, Kataral, and Pig Up. There doesn't seem to be any any key! And if all that computer hacking is making you so thirsty that you want to order a tab, there is a fun little easter egg right at the start menu for just such an occasion that acknowledges this classic scene. The game opens up with Skinner in his living room when the doorbell rings, and we welcome Chalmers inside by opening the door. The dialogue is taken straight from the episode, and it's got those classic adventure game captions where every character gets a different color font. I love that. Once Chalmers sits down, you can head into the kitchen to check on the roast, but we all know how that's turned out. You try to sneak out, get caught, go get the burgers, and lie your way through lunch until you can get Chalmers out of your burning house. You'll occasionally be given dialogue prompts to continue the story, and much like a real adventure game, there's really only one right answer, as picking any of the others will just result in Skinner stuttering and stammering his way back to the choice menu. And yeah, that really is it. It's an incredibly short experience. If you just play straight through the scene beat for beat, it'll only last about five minutes or so. But if you're SMRT, like I am, you're not just gonna play straight through the scene. You're gonna use those verbs and you're gonna click on as many things as you possibly can to see what hilarious little secrets you can find. Can I pick up this chair? No. Can I turn on the kitchen faucet? Yes. What if I want to go back into the living room and talk to Chalmers? How does that play out? I seem to have soiled myself. <clears throat> what if I want to pick up Superintendent Chalmers? I have it going on. Seymour, you are an odd fellow. Oh my god, that is amazing. Neo Dement clearly has such a love for The Simpsons and classic LucasArts games that she gave us this amazing reference to the pickup option in a lot of the classic games. The main one that came to mind for me was Guybrush trying to pick up Kate Capsize in Monkey Island 2. What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? Trying to avoid guys like you. The hamburgers you get from Krusty Burger are pretty much the only item ever added to your inventory. So what happens if I examine them? Well, watering hamburgers. I don't know what else I expected. Alright, and that really is all I have to say about Steamed Ham's The Graphic Adventure. It's a short but delightfully jam-packed little adventure game that combines the hilarity and absurdity of The Simpsons with the engaging versatility of an old LucasArts game. The game is free to download, and I've included the link to it in the description below. Give it a try for yourself, and feel free to let me know if you find anything funny that I may have missed out on. I've also gone ahead and added links to Neo Dement's Twitter, Bill Oakley's Instagram where he does his fast food reviews, and all the Steamed Hams content I showed off towards the beginning of this video if you want to check any of them out. And so in celebration of today's video, I decided to make my very oops. And so in celebration of today's video, I decided to make my very own home-cooked steamed ham. Mmm.